shadow there. That'll be all right there. Who is it? Ten care to be on your top line. I just want to tell you guys what, what happens. Okay, so this is with brass. Doesn't look like much is happening. Doesn't look like much at all, actually. But I didn't notice that there. Good way to tell if you shine across the side. If you don't see any gold kind of floating on top, you'll know that it's probably brass plated gold, which I've ran across myself. There's 14 on brass. I'll try to stagger them so they don't, they don't hit each other. And 14 takes it right away. You can't even see it no more. Yeah, so 14 would be a good test for its brass. So you want to test your 10 and with the 14 also just because 10 doesn't seem to be reacting. And we all get our minds in different places. 18 tears it up 22 22 does not do much of a reaction and it yep no, yeah, it eats it away though, but it doesn't. Seems like the higher we'll go here, we'll see. Here's the platinum solution. Nothing for platinum. Not much for platinum. You can probably see that. And here is silver solution. This is testing for if there's silver or not. <coughs> Excuse my allergies, but. Yeah, it doesn't look like silver does much either. So now we'll wipe this off. And we will try a different metal. Which, always save your rags when you wipe off too, because you can always recover the values from them too. So that was brass. Let's move on to copper. Uh, copper. I'm gonna do a little a ten, fourteen, oop, eighteen, tw uh, twenty-two, platinum, silver. And that was just, you know. Alright, copper with 10. I probably won't need this big one. Not much of a reaction. Copper with. Ooh, 14. Eat it right away. 18. As we go up, it should eat, eat it right away. It should. It might. Yeah, it looks like as we're going up, all of them pretty much are going to be. 10, 14. That's 18. There's 22. 22 doesn't, seems that if it gets too high, it doesn't uh, react very good, but you can kind of see the different in color, but, okay, oh, that was silver, sorry, that was silver, and here's the platinum, it looks a mm, platinum testing solution, right, let's see what she does, I'll put one there where we're supposed to be there. So platinum doesn't really react very much. The silver doesn't react a little, reacts a little bit. And then uh, ten doesn't really react. So you need to use like a fourteen through eighteen, I would say. You suspect there's copper and then it, I guess it well whatever. However you want to do it. You can just see my Let's 
sorry about the interruption earlier. My mother-in-law is, uh... Ooh, now we get to see some gold. I think I brought a piece out here with me. I hope I did. One second. Uh-huh. There's some gold in this is This is 14, I believe. Let's see. I don't have a user shirt like I just did. Okay, we'll go chart with 10, 14, 18, 22, platinum, silver. Uh, I can't put it right there. Alright, 10. No reaction. I believe it's 14 karat anyways because it tested it earlier. But now you should see a little bit of reaction with this. Just a hair. And this is where I was telling you guys, if you look, you can see kind of... I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm trying to get... Maybe when I get closer to down. 18. Oh, 18 eats it up pretty good. But you can see on top the, the gold flakes start to kind of get on there. Shit, I'm gonna get that too. Let me wipe a little bit of this excess off so I can get on the paper. Shit, I'll use this wedge. All right, that was uh, 18, 22, 22. Twenty-two kind of it definitely eats it away. You can tell the difference. There's some platinum. Okay, the platinum really doesn't mess with it much. Sometimes I guess it's pretty important to uh, silver. And silver, I mean you can. So you can see silver will turn funky color. I guess. Oh, look at. Looks like it might be silver right there. Oh well, we'll figure it out. But as you can tell, that you can see what works, what doesn't, and what it looks like. Now we'll go with silver. I have a nice piece of silver here. Oh, you see it? It's probably right here. Nice little piece. I just I uh, kind of <laughs> made that just for. This demonstration too. Uh, it's pretty good silver. One. Oh shit! Huh, a little bit of flux still on there. Oops. Oh well. Okay, here's the silver at ten. Now silver is pretty much impervious. You can kind of to it, it. It'll go collodial, which will be a white precipitate. It should be starting around 14 or 18. You'll be able to see a little cloud on top. Here's the 18. Yeah, you can definitely see the little how it's getting cloudy on top. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that on there, but that looks like oh yeah, there it is. See how it's running off like that? It's a good way to tell if you have silver also if you if you don't have silver testing solution. And there is uh it's twenty two carat. 22 is doing 22. Yeah, you can see a little bit of the cloudiness coming there. And here's platinum testing. And then the silver. Silver, you should be able to, if 
Hopefully they don't join together and do it over. But oh, but you should be able to see that it turns a like a nice color. You know, it turns a red when it's silver. To and then you know as you go on so forth and so forth. It there's directions on these stupid little stones, but whatever. I should be wearing gloves too, just so you guys know. But yeah, we don't always go by the rules. Or <coughs> Includes the the uh, I guess the little demonstration that I just said of the brass, copper, gold, silver, and uh, I'll get back to you guys and test some more stuff, maybe some steel and stainless steel, and lead, and uh, show you guys the next one. So thank you very much for tuning in.